what exactly this free software will tell you the name itself saying that free software that means free of cost we can able to get that software proprietary software is a software that is neither open nor freely available whereas web browser is a www client that navigates through the world wide web and display web pages here welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we want to start with the first session of internet and open source concept whereas the total weightage in the annual exam from this chapter is only 4 marks they will going to get only two questions one is from part a for one marks and one more question in part c one question for three marks totally four marks you will get from this chapter whereas on today's class you will study regarding what do you mean by free software the name itself suggesting free of cost we are getting this software then electronic commerce that is e-commerce that is nothing but buying or selling the product with the help of internet how we can able to buy the product as well as sell the product with the help of internet regarding that mainly it will deals on e-commerce and which are the different types of e-commerce under that what are the advantages of e-commerce as well as disadvantages of e-commerce now first we will study regarding free software what exactly this free software will tell you the name itself saying that free software that means free of cost we can able to get that software for example when you want to launch your application in the internet on that time we have to pay some amount whereas free software means without paying amount for only for limited period of time we can able to launch our application on the internet that is another bit free software whereas free software means the software that is freely accessible and can be freely used changed improved copied and distributed by all who wish to do that it means that we can able to get that software with free of cost and we can able to edit that we can able to improve that we can able to copy that software that's why it is called as free software and the next one oss whereas oss refers to open source software open source software which refers to software whose source code is available to customer and it can be modified and redistributed without any limitations consider whatever software we have that software we can able to copy and we can able to edit that copy and later on we can able to redistribute the same copy with by making some changes here and oss may come free of cost or with a payment of nominal charges that its developers may charge in the name of development supports of software sometime it may be free or sometime we have to pay little bit amount on that case this amount will be given to the developer for the development of the software whereas in free software compulsory is free of cost whereas oss it may be free of cost or it may be paid version also when the come on f l o s s that is f l o s s refers to free liber and open source what exactly this software tells the term flaws is used to refers to software which is both free software as well as open source software it is free as well as open source we can able to take the copy of the software and we can able to edit that copy and we can able to redistribute also it's a free of cost here that is flaws that is free liber and open source software when we come on the next one fsf whereas fsf stands for free software foundation free software foundation it is a non profit organization created for the purpose of supporting free software movement it is just a software it's a non profit software organization they are not meant for profit only for development 
of the free software for the sake we are using FSF that is free software foundation it's an organization it's a non-profit organization only to increase or develop the open source concept they are working here and the next one OSI whereas OSI is a open source initiative what exactly it is tells it is an organization dedicated to cause of promoting open source software the next one proprietary software what exactly this proprietary software proprietary software is a software that is neither open nor freely available your source code is not available here free of course we are not able to access here under that freeware which is available free of cost and which allows copying and further distribution we can copy and we can able to redistribute that but not modification but here we are not able to modify the content whereas in open source concept we can able to modify we can able to redistribute whereas here redistribution is not possible here as well as modification is also not possible so source code is not available first of all the source code is not available first of all here this is nothing but freeware when they come on the next one shareware which is made available with rights to redistribute copies but it is stipulated that if one intend to use the software after a certain period of time then a license fee should should be paid it means that then a license fees must and should be here where to pay then in shareware the source code is not available we are not able to get the source code and modification of the source especially software or not allowed here no allowed especially here we are not able to get the software here next we'll move on www that is world wide web whereas world wide web is a set protocols that allow you to access any documents on the net through a naming system based on urls and when you come on the next one telnet telnet is a older internet utility that lets you log on or remote computer system one from one computer another computer we can able to log on and we can able to access the contents of the other computer that is telnet and the next one web browser whereas web browser through www we can able to access the data here whereas web browser is a www client that navigates through the world wide web and display web pages here then when we come on web page the web page contains collection of documents especially here it may be text pictures audio graphics anything whereas website is a collection of web pages whereas internet explorer and Nes nescape navigator google chrome opera mozilla firefox are the most popularly used web browser nowadays when we come on web server the name itself saying that server it means that it supplies services to the user whereas client means here it requests the data it requests the data especially whereas server supplies the data whereas web server is a www server that responds to the request made by the web browser whatever request the browser will do that will supplied by web server and when we come on web page web page the documents residing on the website are called web pages the web pages use http that is hypertext transfer protocol and when we come on home page under that it is the top level web page of the website when a website is opened its home page is displayed when you open the web page first it will display the home page whereas web portal it is a website which host other websites here from one side to another side we can able to access here in other words a web portal has hyperlink to many other website hyperlink helps to link from one document to another document whereas here in web portal helps to link from one website to another website by clicking upon these links the corresponding website can be opened here now is it clear next we will move on url that is 
what exactly this URL will forms HTTP users internet address in a special format called uniform resource locator. With the help of URL only we can able to identify the location. For example, if you have .org then organization. Dot, for example, after this if I am going to write nic.in it means that in India or which organization whether it is an educational organization regarding that we will get on URL. For example, URL looks like address as well as path. Under that if you observe this example www dot pue dot kr dot nic dot in dot result dot asp it means that we are getting the address as well as which path here we are moving here if you observe this is the address of the website that is www dot pue that is pu board karnataka dot nic dot in under that the path is result dot asp that means address everything path everything here in the url Next URL is determined by the following the type of server or a protocol which type of server here we are using the name or address of the server on the internet the address we have to identify which address then the location of the file on the server exactly on which location it is present see here we have the location address everything here that is URL and some frequently used protocols are file transfer protocol whereas this file transfer protocol helps to transfer the files especially here. Then transmission control protocols or internet protocols. Next hypertext transfer protocol, post office protocols, simple mail transfer protocol, network news transfer protocol like this there are types of protocols nowadays we are using to identify the address everything. Next we will move on domains. What exactly the domain says? The domain is the name that identifies a computer on the internet. Which computer we are using? Domain name. We have different types of domains. In addition to it, a two letter abbreviations indicating the country name may be used. For example, HTTP www.pue dot karnataka dot nic dot in here the last suggested based in india dot in or dot organization like that it will represent then let's we'll move on e-commerce what do you mean by e-commerce e-commerce is nothing but buying or selling the product with the help of internet with the help of computer with the help of mobile we are accessing we are taking buying the product as well as selling the product like amazon olx all this we used to call it as e-commerce websites. Whereas e-commerce is the trade of goods and services with the help of telecommunication and computer. Under this we may have several types we have to follow whether which product we are buying or which product we are selling everything here it will matters. When they come on e-commerce it will involve the automation of variety of business to consumer like business to business business to consumer consumer to business and consumer to consumer which type of transaction here we are performing that mainly it will consider when we come on some of the technologies and services used in e-commerce are electronic data interchange that is EDI is the electronic interchange of business information using standardized format under that we are using emails also major technique in e-commerce we are using that is EDI then through email or through electronic fund transfer also we can able to transfer the amount here to do the transaction and electronic benefits transfer that is EBI format or through electronic forms like online admission forms for colleges and other registration for that also we can use then digital cash we can able to pay here and with that interoperable database then bulletin boards then electronic banking these are the some of the technique especially in e-commerce we are using or through email we can send or through cash we can send or through here EFI that is electronic fund transfer or electronic benefits transfer or electronic format any format especially here we can use here 
Then when you come on types of e-commerce, under that first one, business to business. Here, business to business, from one organization to another organization, we are exchanging the product here with the help of internet. Consider we have an organization, organization one, and one more is organization two only. Here, this organization supplies product to organization two. It means that both are here organization that is here both are business person only business to business the exchange of services information and or products from one business to another business partner is nothing but business to business and the second one business to consumer directly the product are supplied from the organization to the customer from business to Consumer, consumer is the customer here. Here, the exchange of services, information or product from business to a consumer here. Especially here, the transaction takes place between business to consumer. And the next one, consumer to business. When they come on consumer to business, here, the transaction takes place between consumer to business here. The, especially here, the customer will give the product to the business organization. For example, I will consider I am the customer. I will submit my project. Whoever will bid higher amount for them, I will supply my project. That means here, consumer to business. Here, consumer directly contact with the business vendors by posting their project work with a set budget online so that the needly companies review it and contact the customer directly with a bit and they can do their work. And the last one, consumer to consumer. Here, both sides will be consumer only. Here, electronic commerce is an internet facilities forms business. The buying and selling of old used goods with takes place here. Both are consumers only here. When you come on advantages of e-commerce, there are several types of advantages. By sitting in the home itself, I can see different products on different websites. Easily I can able to access that product. I can able to see all the information regarding that product. No need to visit each and every shop. By sitting in the home itself, I can be able to see all the products, information, which product, how much price for that, is it a worthful or not, everything I can be able to see here. Is it? No, that means I can be able to avoid the stress, I can be able to avoid the petrol, and I can be able to see all the information regarding the product. Is it? No. Then, when we come on advantages, easier entry into web, new markets here, then creates a new market through the ability to easily and economical rate potential for customer, global participation, optimization of resources, reduce time to complete business transaction, buyer makes a buying decision, improved market intelligence and strategic planning, faster services at doorstep, 24 into 7 services we are getting. These are the few advantages on e-commerce. And when you come on disadvantages, what are the disadvantages? For example, I ordered one particular product on the internet, on a particular website. There, I get that product after reaching to my home. Then only I can physically able to touch and feel that product, whether the quality is good or not. Is it no? Sometime, if I not feel that product is good, then I won't exchange. On that case, in some situation, what happens? We have to pay some extra amount. Is it no? Then it takes time to exchange a product. Door-to-door -door delivery is there. But still, if I want to do some exchanges, sometime I'm not satisfied with that product. On that time, I need some time, extra time. And with that, I have to pay some extra amount also. When they come on disadvantages, limited internet access in some countries. EDI standards have to be implemented. It is not possible to get real feeling of shopping. With that, security issues. Sometimes security issues also matters here. These are the few disadvantages of e-commerce. That means on today you come to know what do you mean by open source software, free software, how exactly it will work. Then what do you mean by e-commerce? Under that, what are the advantages of e-commerce? 
disadvantage of e-commerce, different types of e-commerce. This completes your internet and open source concept. Next class, we'll meet you once again with a new chapter. Thank you for all of you.